G'day guys, Scott Newman here from Unique Cars Magazine. Welcome to Unique Cars TV. Here we are in a genuine XY GT. It's my first drive in one of these and you couldn't ask for a more original car than this one. So let's go for a drive and see what it's like. The engine in this thing is absolutely brilliant. I can totally see why everyone falls in love with these things. You've got the big shaker just in front of me here. And when you're sitting at the traffic lights, it shimmies away. And the, the power was fantastic. It still feels like a pretty reasonably swift car today. And like it's so responsive. It, we're in third gear at 2000 RPM. Look at that, straight away, it just surges off the line. It revs pretty hard. The standard ignition in this thing struggles to keep up a bit when you're really having a go. But it's just an absolute peach of an engine. The sound, the responsiveness, the power. You couldn't ask for anything more. Unfortunately, the same can't quite be said for the brakes. They're, a, uh, they're pretty good, actually. You, you hear all the horror stories about them, and I probably wouldn't want to race around Bathurst with them, but they're fine for everyday use. You just give yourself a bit of a stopping distance, and it'll pull it up pretty, pretty well, even from uh, you know highway speeds. The body of it, it, uh, it well, it actually rides, rides the bumps nicely. You can see why these things were built for Australian conditions. Probably see we're bouncing up and down a bit as we go along. It's a quite a bumpy road though, and it's it's got compliance. It feels nice. There's a few rattles in it, but come on, the 40 thing's 40 years old, and it's had a pretty hard life. So let's grab fourth to shut that engine up a bit. Body still feels tight. But you can't judge a book by by its cover. If anything ever proved that saying, it's this car. Okay, it looks a bit ratty on the outside, but thing is just a peach to drive. It feels beautiful. I haven't got any reference point, first one I've driven, but I mean there's nothing wrong with the way this thing drives at all. The steering is a bit of a wake up call after driving some more modern machinery. It's um, pretty vague, you can see that. That's nothing a lot is happening when we're moving the wheel like that. But once you get past that sort of on centre vagueness, we're about to hit a few corners. Once you get into it, it's, it's okay. I wouldn't want to try and drive it too hard and uh, you need a fair bit of lock to make things happen. So I wouldn't want to throw it round, but you know, it's, it's, it's period. It's part of the whole charm and character of these cars. So, you know, it is what it is. Interior in this, pretty basic. It's, it's, a, it's a big engine in a family sedan and no, not many frills. We got a mile per, H speedo, mile per hour speedo, we've got a taco here in uh, 100 rev increments. Fuel gauge never seems to go down, but that's because it's got a 164 litre uh, 64 litre tank in it. Oil pressure, engine temp, analog clock, that's all we got. Except for the 8-track, optional 8-track stereo in there. Elvis currently uh, residing in there. But uh, yeah, we've shut Elvis up for the moment. So. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not meant to be a luxury car, it's meant to be a performance car, that's what it was in its day and it does that pretty nicely and then you don't need to worry about any uh, frills because you've got that engine and uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Here we are in some corners, as you can see you need a fair bit of lock to go around these things but once you've got that initial movement in, it tracks beautifully. Put some revs on this thing and let you uh, hear the engine. As you can see it's still a pretty swift car. Let's get around this corner, give it some throttle. In case you're wondering, I've got uh, full permission from Ronnie, the owner of this car, to treat it however we like. So he'd be more than happy for us to use a few revs on it. What a beautiful noise. 